If your Facebook Marketplace listings aren't getting views or aren't selling, then this video is for you. In it, we're gonna break down three real world examples of items in the exercise space, home furniture, and tech space so you can clearly see how you could quickly improve your Facebook Marketplace listings to increase your chances of selling your items. And in case you haven't seen my prior Facebook Marketplace video, be sure to check that out after you watch this video for three more examples of how to improve your listings. Hey, I'm Will, and if you're new here, I hope that you'll consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Every week, I teach you something new in sales, digital marketing, and entrepreneurship to take you from zero to self-starter. As usual, check out these timestamps to help you navigate throughout this video. But without further ado, let's jump into these three examples. The first thing to go over is what even makes a good Facebook Marketplace listing. If you've seen my prior videos on Facebook Marketplace, you know that I am a big champion of making sure that your listing is positioned for success. The first thing you'll need for success is a keyword optimized title. This is where you wanna include things like the brand or the model of the thing you're selling, the color, the condition, or anything relevant that will catch the potential buyer's eye as they are skimming through all of the Facebook Marketplace results. Aside from the title, you also need to list your desired price. I'm a big champion of making sure that you offer a fair price with relation to what people can find for that item either on Facebook Marketplace or some other online marketplace. Typically, I price things competitively a little bit lower than the average in the market. That way I know that my item will more likely sell a little faster than everybody else's. Aside from just title and pricing, you need to have some high quality photos. It needs to be super clear for your potential buyer what exactly they're going to be buying when they check out your listing. An easy tip to make your pictures pop is to hit that auto wand function if you're on iOS or to just use the one click touch up features of different photo editing softwares. Other things to include in your listing is writing in benefits towards your buyer. Too many people talk about the specific features that the item that they're selling has, but they don't write about it from the lens of the buyer. For example, if you're selling a grill, you might include a line along the lines of, enjoy the summer sun while grilling some steaks on this fantastic Weber grill. The other three things I'm a big proponent of sharing in your listing is the percentage savings that somebody stands to save by buying your item as opposed to something new, as well as your preferred payment method, whether that's Venmo, cash, etc., and the preferred pickup days and times. Now that we've done a quick review of what makes an effective Facebook Marketplace listing, let's shift gears to pull up three examples and break down specifically how we might make these examples more compelling and more likely to sell on Facebook. Our first listing example is going to be for a mixed fitness bike. In case you don't know what these are, they're essentially knockoff Peloton bikes that are sold a little bit cheaper than a Peloton. If you're interested in my marketing lessons that you can learn from Peloton, check out my recent video on that. But aside from that, let's go over this description of this listing and see what we could potentially improve. So here we can see that the listing title is mixed fitness bike. It is properly listed in sporting goods under cardio equipment. And we have the like new condition selected as well as the brand which is mixed fitness and if we read the description it says the bike is only three and a half weeks old I really like the bike and the classes the only issue is limited alternative and rock music which has been an issue for my fiance so we've decided to purchase a different bike I bet you that's a Peloton it's very quiet sturdy and I've gotten great workouts I won't be sad at all if we end up keeping it we live on a third floor apartment with no elevator and the bike weighs 150 pounds it includes a heart rate monitor and all all the tools the bike came with. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you know the importance of these three acronyms, WIFM, PI, and ANA. WIFM is what's in it for me, PI is is it personal, insightful, or emotional, and ANA is understanding your audience, their needs, and having a clear ask. Knowing these three acronyms is a great way to think about these listings and how we could improve them. So the first thing I notice is that this entire listing is written from the lens of the seller and not the buyer. In other words, it's talking about the backstory behind this bike, but not about the benefits that the potential buyer could have by buying this bike off of them. Honestly, the story of the item is important, but what's more important is the future story of this item if you were to be the person that bought this item from the seller. Other things to notice is how it's difficult 
helpful to skim this listing. It's a big block of text, which makes me much more likely to just ignore the text altogether and move on to the next listing. Aside from that, the seller could also benefit from including the savings that you could have from retail if you were to buy this bike, as well as how many rides were actually put onto this bike within that three and a half week time period. The seller could also do without that line on, I won't be sad if we end up keeping it. I understand what they're trying to do here, but it's not really that compelling in this listing because if that were truly the case, then why would you even be listing this bike? Okay, so now that we've gone over what could be improved here, let's come up with a quick listing description that could potentially be more effective than this initial listing. So the first thing I do is I change the title to something along the lines of mixed fitness bike dash like new condition dash includes heart rate monitor. The reason why I do this is just because it is much more descriptive than the current title. Once we've dealt with the title, we can start breaking down the description. I would probably include lines like, looking for a great at-home workout, this mixed fitness bike is for you and is perfect for those looking for budget-conscious Peloton alternatives. The reason why I include this line here is so that we can optimize for the keyword phrase Peloton as well in case somebody is looking for that, as well as just trying to position this bike more from the lens of the potential buyer as opposed to just from the seller's lens. Another line I'd include is, save 12% off retail and three to five weeks of waiting for your next spin workout. Only three and a half weeks old, seven lifetime rides on it, it's pretty much new. 11 months of warranty remaining on it, includes Polar OH1 heart rate monitor, pickup only, third floor apartment, any day of the week, Venmo only. Something I want you to notice is as we made our way further down into the listing, we included all of those answers to commonly asked questions that a potential buyer would have for us. Aside from the overall improved listing, there are two other things I would potentially do to improve this listing. The first thing is I would potentially revamp the picture so that it provides a little bit more variety than what's been provided. The other thing I do is I'd potentially record a short video detailing the mixed library experience. It would just be potentially some of the classes and things like that, just so that people could get a feel for what mix feels like if they were to compare it to something like Peloton. Before we head into example number two, if you're finding this video helpful, hit that like button below to let me know, and let's jump into example number two. So in our second example, we're going to break down a bookshelf listing and see how we could potentially make it a little bit more marketable in Facebook Marketplace. Let's go ahead and take a look at this listing. Here we have a listing called Bookshelf for Sale. It is listed in home goods within bookcases, which is a great categorization. We also are clearly using the condition and color, which is also great. So here we have, it's like new condition and it's brown in color. And then the description itself says, lightly used bookcase for sale, dimensions 121 inches base, each shelf is 81 inches, height 180 inches with 11 inches. So overall, I'd say they've done a good job of using some basic tags as well as making it clear to the potential buyer what the dimensions are of the bookshelf in case they wanna make sure it fits into their apartment or home. That said, there are a couple things we could do to improve this listing. The first thing we could do is we could provide a few more pictures. In this situation, this single picture is not really giving me a complete sense of how this bookshelf would rest in a room or the different angles in which one might look at this bookshelf. It might also be helpful to include a picture of how many books it can hold. That way you could actually understand how many books does 81 inches of shelving actually support. We could also improve this listing by saying exactly how old this bookshelf is is, just so we have a better understanding of how long this bookshelf has been around for. With these things in mind, let's go ahead and try to rewrite this listing. For this one, I title it Unique Brown Bookshelf Like New Condition Living Room Furniture. The reason why I do this, instead of just saying bookshelves for sale, I want to include some more keywords that could potentially come up if somebody were, for example, to just be looking for brown bookshelves or something like that. From here, we might go ahead and start writing a description like looking for a great bookshelf to add to your living room. This brown bookshelf holds more than 50 books, enough for the bulk of your library. Bought new two years ago for $350, meaning you save $100. It's a real wood shelf. The dimensions are 121 by 11 by 180 inches. Shelf length is 81 inches, which carries around 20 books each. Pick up only any day. 
of the week after 5 p.m. and Venmo only. So by just taking a couple minutes to improve our listing here, we've made it much more clear what these savings are versus buying a bookshelf new here, as well as how many books this bookshelf can hold and some other key things that weren't in the original listing. Now that we've talked about exercise bikes as well as home furniture, let's wrap things up by talking about some technology by looking at how we might improve a listing for a laptop. In this example, we have an HP Pavilion laptop with a Core i7 processor, and the description reads as follows. Eighth generation Intel i7-8550U processor, 512 gigabyte solid state, 16 gigabyte SD RAM DDR4, NVIDIA GeForce 940MX. It's listed within electronics and laptops, which is great. And they use like new condition as well as uh, they list the brand of HP. You'll notice as we go through these pictures as well that they include the original box in this listing as well as just a breakdown of some of the other features that weren't listed in the description. So in thinking about ways we can improve this, one of the first things we could do is share how much we spent on this laptop retail. This way we just have a better sense of how we are pricing this listing when we are putting it up on Facebook Marketplace. Aside from just talking about the retail price of the laptop, we might want to talk about the condition a little bit more. I understand that it's listed as like new, but it would be relevant to include anything if there's any nicks or dings that have happened over the use of this laptop. Because this is an electronics purchase, it's important to know how old it is, whether or not you're going to be including all the relevant power cables, as well as if the laptop will be coming to you wiped or if the hard drive will need a hard reset when you are purchasing it from them. So with these considerations in mind, let's go ahead and rewrite this listing to make it much more compelling. For this one, I'm gonna title it HP Pavilion Laptop Core i7 Processor, like new, 512 gigabyte SSD, 16 gigabyte RAM. Again, you'll notice here that what I'm doing with the title is I'm being as specific as I can and getting as many opportunities to keyword optimize it for these search results. From here for the description, I wrote, whether you're a student looking for the perfect laptop for school or just a great performing gaming laptop, this laptop might be for you. Excellent condition, no dents or scratches on any of it, comes with power cable and the original box, laptop specs, eight generation Intel i7-8550U processor, 512 gigabyte SSD, already factory reset, 16 gigabyte RAM DDR4, NVIDIA GE Force 940MX graphics card, DVD optical drive, bought new three years ago for $1,100, meaning that you save 45%, pick up only any day of the week after 3 p.m., Venmo only. So hopefully by looking at this improved listing, what you can tell is that I've answered way more questions that any potential buyers would have for my Facebook Marketplace listing here. And I've also made it really clear what condition the laptop will be when we arrange for a meetup in the case where I am truly interested in buying this laptop. Something that I also think is great to include in the improved listing is just the retail savings because if you're to tell somebody you're about to save 45% off a laptop, it would make somebody more likely to perk up their ears. Aside from this improved listing, the two other areas that I could potentially improve this listing would be by including some more compelling pictures. These pictures that were taken are not necessarily bad, but they also could be brightened up or just given a little bit more contrast and made to pop a little bit more. Because this is a higher end purchase, having some really great pictures can be a great way to help your listing stand out from the rest of the pack. Another thing that could potentially be helpful would be to run a speed test on this reset laptop. That way somebody could just get a general sense of how fast they can expect this to be. There are two things to remember from today's video. The first thing is that sales is all about positioning and the same goes for Facebook Marketplace. It's ultimately how you position your listings versus all of your competitors that will make the difference between you selling today and you selling two weeks from now or not at all. The second thing to remember is that you should always aim to be better than average on Facebook Marketplace. As you can tell from the examples today, there are a ton of average listings and it only takes one or two minutes to really improve your listing to make it stand out from the rest of the pack. When you take that extra one or two minutes to improve your listing, it makes a huge difference in the amount of time it takes for you to sell your items. 
Now it's your turn. Tell me in the comments below, what are you trying to sell on Facebook Marketplace? I love hearing from you guys and I try to read and respond to every single comment. If you got value out of this video, I greatly appreciate if you hit that like button below. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to get more sales, digital marketing, and entrepreneurship content every single week to take you from zero to self-starter. Lastly, if you're looking for more Facebook Marketplace tips and tricks, be sure to snag my Jumpstart Kit in the link in the video description below. In my next video, I'm gonna be going over five sales lessons you can learn from Facebook Marketplace. While you wait for that video though, check out these videos that YouTube thinks you might like.